Hi, we're going to learn today how to write harmonic minor scales. It's going to be super fun. You ready? You excited? Are you happy like this guy? Yes! Here's the circle of fifths for the relative major and minor keys. We have to remember that the majors are on the outside and the minors are on the inside. And we're going to write F minor to start. So if we look over here at the inside circle, there's F minor. And it has 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 flats in it. We're going to need that to write the scale. So we said it had four flats. We're going to put them on the staff here. There's B, E, A, and D flat. I'm writing with my fingers, so it's a little bit tricky. Then we're going to put the notes on for F minor. So we'll draw an F right here. Draw all the notes all the way up to the next F. And again, my notes are a little bit wobbly, but not bad for drawing with my finger. Now we need to find the seventh note. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There it is right there. And that is an E. If you look over here in the key signature, you will notice that that is actually E flat. So in order to raise that, we need to make it natural and cancel that flat sign. So we have to put a natural sign right in here beside the E. Now we have a harmonic minor scale that's built on F, so it's F harmonic minor. Here's the circle of fifths again. We are going to be drawing a new key. I think it's E minor, so E minor is right here, and that has one sharp in it, so we will remember that for the next slide when we put So we'll put our sharp sign right in here, F sharp for father, draw our notes starting on E, Draw the scale in. Now this, if we just left it alone, it would be the natural minor, but we don't want the natural. We want the harmonic. So we have to raise the seventh. Let's count up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right here. We need to raise this guy. And that's a D. So we'll check the key signature. Look for D. Is anything happening to D? Nope. So D is just normal. For us to raise a note that's just normal, we're going to put a sharp sign in front of it because that will raise it by a semitone. And now we have E harmonic minor. The next key that we're going to do is G sharp minor, and that is right here. And it has 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sharps. So Father Charles goes down and. We'll need to remember that to put on the staff, 5 sharp. So let's put them in. Let's make them black this time. Father, Charles, and we're going to be in the bass clef just for a variety, goes down, and, and the scale starts on G, which is right here. That's kind of a wobbly G, sorry. Oh, it just barely fits. Okay, so now we have to find the seventh again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, it's right here, and that's an F, and if you look in the key signature, F is already sharp, so how do you raise a note that's already sharp? Well, you sharpen it again, and that's called a double sharp. And the symbol for that is not two sharp signs, as you might suspect, but it's actually an X. So it looks like this it has to go right in front of that F, kind of making it messy. But that's what it's going to look like. So that's F double sharp, which is actually G, if you think about it on the keyboard. If you raise F twice, you'll actually be back on to a white note, which will be G. But it's written here as F double sharp. So what we've learned here is that if the note that you have to raise, the seventh note, if it is natural, just plain old plain Jane, then it becomes sharp. If it already is sharp, then it becomes, when you raise it, it becomes a double sharp, which is an X. And the only other option is if it was flat originally, then to raise that, it becomes a natural. And that is how you draw a minor harmonic scale. Ta-da!